How you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Now, there's a big golf tournament going on uh, this week. The WP World. Uh, they've obviously changed their name from the European Tour. Um, sports washing or money washing. Loads of terms have been uh, popping in about this. Yeah, I'll leave links in the comment section and the description to Amnesty International. The whole question of sport and human rights and is sport above politics or is sport the most important thing to uh, make people aware of global or human rights issues? Big question today. I don't think, I'm going to keep it to four minutes, I don't think we'll get close to answering this question. The likes of Shane Larry's come out in the Telegraph article in there saying that he's not a politician and he's not going to get involved in political decisions or um, whatever you want to call it. He signed a deal in 2019 to play in the event and he's withholding or responding to his contract and playing every year. Appearance money in golf is not a new thing, right? Appearance money has always been there. Back in 2019, I believe Rory McIlroy got offered $1.9 million to play in this event and he turned it down, as did Tiger. So they put themselves out there and said no. Obviously, in this COVID torrid world that we live in now, all these players, uh, Mr. 15 Ferraris, etc., have all had their incomes dramatically cut. Now, I'm not saying that that would be a decisive factor in them weighing up whether to play in this event or not, the appearance money, but it takes a big man to turn down $1.5 million to play a golf tournament if you take the stance that you're not a politician and you don't or sit on the fence between human rights records and sport, i.e. you just say, I'm not getting involved, I'm just playing my sport. So everyone has their own choice to make on this. But like I say, have a look at Amnesty International and Amnesty pages on this. Um, and that is where the term sports washing or money washing comes into. So the, the whole uh, dilemma here is, or the ethical question for everyone, is... Can money buy anything? And if you throw enough money at something, do you make it okay? Clearly, um, there's loads of people that say that that is not the case. And if they took all that appearance money and threw it in the right direction, improving the um, judicial system and the uh, laws in their country, then the human rights issue would improve tenfold. There's also... When you look on the Amnesty International page, a series of or a list of people who have mysteriously disappeared and never been seen again. They also still have the death penalty and uh, other human rights issues. That this is far too short a blog to go into. But, and here's the question pause for dramatic effect. How many players turned down the appearance money this year and didn't go? There will be a few. But the world's been under pressure this last 18, some say 24 plus months. Incomes are down. The South African tour got obliterated by COVID. So all these European tour players need to live like anyone else. And like I say, appearance money in sport is nothing new. It takes a big man to say, no, I'm not taking it and I'm not playing. 
we'll see. But I don't think, you know, the Telegraph covered it. There's loads of media coverage on this. Whether the bigger picture will improve or people will say, yeah, enough's enough, you know, no amount of money can uh, clear uh, a record on human rights unless you improve it and um, make it better for everybody that's there um, on a on a scale that's um, livable for all. It's a question that you know a lot of people are asking. I thought I'd ask it here. Put it in the comment section. Wait for the usual torrade of I don't quite understand what you're getting on that here. Well, if you don't, click on Amnesty International and read all about it. And make an informed decision on it yourself because um, obviously uh, a non-YouTuber like myself raising this issue and talking about it with all of 619 subscribers I can't believe you've got the balls to call out these guys. They've got 2 million subscribers. Yes, well, some things are worth talking about. Thanks for watching.